Good evening guys, this is Mia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to learn how to make a moonlit inspired backlit wall feature. So basically we are going to create such wall feature in dialogues today. If you observe the image, we have a cutout in the wall. There is a moon texture and then they have placed LED strip to illuminate the texture. How do we make this in the dialogues table? For that, today I have considered a sample project of an office. It's a simple room. So our first step is we will select the wall we need where we'll be doing the wall feature effect. I will select this wall. I'll zoom in. We'll be using the cutout tools. We'll go to the cutout. We'll choose circular cutout. Select the first point and extend it. When you extend, you can see the radius of the circle so you can adjust it depending on the radius you need suppose if i need the circle of one meter i can have the radius to be 0.5 meters okay like this suppose okay if you're not able to adjust it properly at 0.5 no worries you can manually change it to here one meter this is diameter okay we have drawn the cutout but we need to define some cutting depth for your first circle we will keep the cutting depth to be 0 0.02 okay we need to draw another cutout because in that we'll be placing the led strip if i explain it verbally you may not understand so i better show you how to do it remember the steps first we have drawn a circle one with just a small cutting depth 0 0.02 next we are going to draw another circle a little bit bigger than the first circle okay so i will select circular cutout select the point extend okay now my first circle was one meter let's say i will make this 1.2 meters manually 1.2 meters okay and the cutting depth for now let me define it to be 0.1 meter okay then I will select this circle and place it here on my first circle and I will go to the plan view. So, see my first circle cutting depth was 0 0.02. If I take my second circle little bit back and uh, let me show you this one, this cutting depth 0 0.02 is of your first circle and this and the second circle, this cutting depth is 0 0.1 if you see the story mode you can understand it better so see this is 0 0.02 and this is 0 0.1 okay the reason i have drawn two circles one see this one a smaller one and the other one is slightly larger one okay i will try to adjust it properly exactly at the center okay like this perfect so first circle and second circle and we are going to place led strips in between this one now for led strips if you choose an led strip which is of one meter then it will not be a good effect okay so try to use led strip with with small length if you need to get an ios files you can go for lume search okay here go to the dialogs luminar finder and search for led strip the see there you have the length if you see 1.61 inches 0.55 inches and 0.2 inches so this is very small in length so we will select this one okay the option of send to dialogs is not there but on, not a problem you can scroll down downloads and download file see your is file is downloaded now i have already imported my luminar file in the dialogs if you don't know how to import the is files it's simple go to file import luminaire file and from here you can directly import your uld or is files okay i have already imported it and this is the this is my is files once selected select draw circular arrangement select the center point and extend it okay then go to the side views from where it is clearly visible place your led strips in between your first and second cutout like this okay rotate if you need to increase the quantity okay 
for now let me just uh, keep the quantity 30 or 40 see this is my is files but it has to be rotated towards the wall because i am doing a backlit effect i will rotate the is files choose move tool and i will place it exactly behind my first cutout now if you see this was my first cutout 0 0.02 and i am placing the led strips right behind it okay this part is done suppose if you do not want any moonlit moon texture you need to have only the wall feature then these are the steps that's it okay only you have to run the calculation and you will have a backlit effect like this one okay but since uh, we were specific that we'll be doing a moonlit effect so i will go and search for the full moon images and uh, you can select the one which has a good resolution and the texture okay make sure the resolution is better i selected this image right click copy image go to your dialogs textures create texture material use clipboard okay and then apply material select the image and move it but my moon texture is not fully covering this uh, cutout so what i will do is i will increase its height here let's assume that i'll make it 1.2 and 1.2 and then slightly adjust it again my moon image is exactly at the cutout perfect now since we have played the led strip if you feel the voltage of the led strip is high you can reduce the voltage or you can even reduce the quantity since it's just a wall feature okay so till now i hope the steps are clear the final thing is simple just run the calculation and check the effect calculation is completed and you can see the effect of the moon perfect it's beautiful let's make a sample render zoom in save the view ray tracer start ray tracing i'll keep it as 4k ultra hd render start ray tracing this is the effect wow i like the reflection of this um, backlit moon wall feature on the table it's looking beautiful so this is how you can easily make this kind of backlit effect on your dialogues either you use a moon texture or instead of moon texture you can have uh, maybe a rugged wall texture you can have a different planet texture the process is same it's simple the only trick lies in the cutout so do it precisely so this is it guys in this video i hope you found this video helpful if you did Please do hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me. Thank you.